Mayor, <laughs> if, if if you if casinos reopen, are you going to be inside those casinos every single night, putting your own life on the line? Las Vegas Mayor Carolyn Goodman joined Anderson Cooper on CNN for, I think, a thirty-minute interview. This was a long interview, um, but I'm going to show you some highlights here. I almost don't even know how to intro this. This discussion was so insane that you sort of just have to have to see this back and forth for yourself. So basically, just to give you the premise, Carolyn Goodman is arguing to open Las Vegas back up. She thinks it's a great idea to have people from all over the all over the country come back into Las Vegas in the middle of a pandemic. So let me first start here with uh, so Josh Marshall here breaks down the clips from this interview uh, or the highlights um, pretty well. So let me start here with uh, this exchange at the beginning. You say that you assume everyone has the virus and is just asymptomatic. You want casinos open, Vegas back in business. Is that a responsible call to make? That wasn't the call that I was really making. It was to get people back to work. We have so many in our hospitality crew. Probably we're two and a half million people down here in southern Nevada. And we right. have so many out of work because of but the casinos. But you want the casinos shutdown. open, yes? Well, that's a piece of it. I want the hotel rooms open. We have 155,000 hotel rooms, and most of our people who live here and are part of the population are hooked to those hotel rooms in some way or ancillary way. So you want, like, hotel rooms, casinos, the theaters open? I mean, you want Vegas back in business, no? I want our restaurants open. I want our small businesses open. I want our people back in employment. We have so many families that can't even afford to get the groceries for their family because they've been out of work for six weeks. But casinos, you want them open because obviously visitors are not going to come without casinos and shows and things. Well, no, they'll come because they love. We've got major league sports here, and we've so got so many answer. I'd love everything open because okay. I think we've had uh, viruses for years so that, that have been here. That is the call you said you weren't making. That is the call. You want casinos open. You want stadiums open. You want restaurants open. You want Vegas back in business. And, and, and Anderson, I understand you're being yeah. very specific, and I appreciate it because that's where you're seeing it. No, the reality is I want us open in the city of Las Vegas so our people right. can go back to work. All right. Now, before I get to any specific comment comments made in this video, understand what is fueling this. This is this perspective that capitalists have where they are unable to think outside of this of this current system. So because right now people are starving for money, their only course of action, the only way that they're able to operate, the only way that they think is that, well, people need money. To get money, they have to go back to work. What else, what else could it be? What else is the answer? They have to go back to work. Yet if they go back to work, they're putting their lives in danger. The actual course of action would be for the government to be taking care of them during this pandemic. People should be receiving a universal basic income until it is safe to go back to work. It is not safe to go back to work right now. What the mayor of Las Vegas here is doing is prioritizing profit over people, which is what capitalism does in general. But this pandemic has really put a, a spotlight on just how broken or rigged this system is for the average person. And she goes on to say here, <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure if this was picked up by Anderson Cooper. He didn't seem to react to it. But she says, uh, I'd love everything to open. Here's the quote here. I'd love everything to open because I think we've had viruses for years that have been here. <laughs> what? What does that have to do with the coronavirus, which is incredibly contagious, which is the very reason things are shut down? Yes, viruses have been around for years. They were different viruses. This is COVID-19. This virus is contagious even in people that are not showing symptoms. And it's, and even with people or people that have COVID-19 are a lot more contagious than people that have the flu, for example. The idea that you think you can open the city back up bring people from all over the country, which may be bringing the virus with them, 
into these places and you're putting the workers lives at risk if you think this is a good idea you're crazy which speaking of workers let me show you um who this would impact the most so right now uh the poverty rate in las vegas is 16.2 percent a lot of these people work in these industries work in the restaurants work in the casinos work in the hotels um and guess who it would impact the most people going back to work here it is las vegas nevada poverty rate by race black americans 25.8 percent poverty rate american indian 20 percent pacific islander 17.2 percent uh two or more races 18.4 percent and hispanic 21.8 percent these are the majority of people that work in these places where you would have the highest concentration of being able to catch COVID-19. And now there are studies looking into people that have uh, constant exposure to the virus, how it actually ha it may have the, the potential, the ability to impact those people uh, more than people that may have just you know walked by somebody on the street that had it. So for example, doctors and nurses, their cases of COVID-19 appear to, to be uh, more severe cases than the average person that gets uh, the virus because doctors and nurses have this prolonged exposure to the virus in these hospitals that they're in. Let me go to the next clip. If you can't figure out how to do this safely, why as mayor of a city that you were responsible for the people's safety, are you calling for something that you have no plan for how it would be done safely? I am not a private owner. That's the competition in this country, the free, uh, the free enterprise, and to be able to make sure that what you offer the public meets the needs of the public. Right now, we're in a crisis health-wise, and so for a restaurant to be open or a small uh, boutique to be open, they better figure it out. That's their job. That's so not the mayor's you. job. Okay, you said you said in another interview, you said, quote, let the businesses open. Competition will destroy that business if, in fact, they become evident they have a disease, they're closed yeah, down. Oh, yeah. It's that oh, simple. Yeah. Yes. Do you, you stand by that? Because it would take weeks, as I think you probably know, before anyone realized a place was a, a epicenter of viral infection. I mean, that it would take weeks for that would actually to show up. You're comfortable with that. <laughs> You're a very good interviewer. I've watched you for years and you're wonderful. And I'm not going down that road. I am sticking with what I'm asking for. Please, our governor. I'm and focused our on state. what you're saying, Madam Mayor. No, 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 and and no, what no. you're saying you're doesn't make to sense. You're to say something. No, that's your opinion of what you think I'm saying. And I am being very clear. Okay. I think our governor has a great and a so difficult job to do. But you're saying competition. I want it, I want you want, you want it to be like the free market. Everybody gets to go into these restaurants and if it becomes a center for viral infection Anderson, that the markets we will decide Anderson no nope, we weren't that's broken. what you said we uh, we weren't broken when we that, were closed down and you yet stand by us, what you said I think I had it I you said let the businesses open. open competition will destroy that business if in fact they yes. get evidence they have a disease yes. there so that yes. should happen okay <laughs> This, I mean, this flies in the face of the reason why the EPA exists, for example. You can't expect the market to take care of people because the market cares about profit. That's what capitalism centers. Profit over people. That's what it does. So you need to have regulations in place to ensure that people are not going to get sick, or die because of whatever a company is doing. In the case of opening every business back up, of opening these restaurants, these casinos, these hotels back up, they're not going to, like, what does she think is going to happen? This is why she can't respond to Anderson Cooper saying uh, it would be weeks until we have any results. Because she has no actual plan here. She just assumes, I mean, to be incredibly charitable here, she just assumes that private companies, these private businesses, will do the right thing. But how do you even do the right thing when people, when, I mean, for casinos, for example, 
When you're playing blackjack, you're very close to people. That's how the tables are designed. You see, you see the dealer. People are right beside you. Are they going to make new tables? Like, what is, the, what is the actual plan here? There is nothing. None of this makes any sense because she has no plan. Her only message here is get people back to work. People don't have any money. They got to get back to work. Get, get them back to work. And she hasn't thought past, uh, she, she hasn't thought any further past just that point. That people need money. To get money, they have to go back to work. She hasn't thought of how people are putting their, the, the workers' lives at risk. How people would be coming from all, all around the country, potentially bring the virus with them into Las Vegas. She hasn't thought about any of this. She hasn't thought about maybe the government should be taking care of people right now because the safest, that the only way to get rid of this virus is to ensure people are staying home so that the people that already have it, have it, hopefully get over it, and then that's how you destroy the virus. You don't destroy it by continuing this process and potentially having these new waves every few months where you have more and more people getting back to work too early and then spreading the virus again to more people and then you prolong the entire thing. Let me get to the next clip. <laughs> um, look, I know there's a lot here, but this is... There's a lot to learn. At the same time, this is also ridiculous in its entertainment value. Um, but let's see what uh, the mayor has to say here. There's a... Chinese researchers have shown uh, how this virus spreads. And I just want to put up Ooh, for our viewers... I just want to put up for our viewers. This is a, a restaurant. Anderson, you are tough. <laughs> no, I'm not We're talking. Back I'm just to China. This isn't China. Yeah. This, this is, is Las a... Vegas, Nevada. Wow. Okay, that's really ignorant. This is a restaurant, and the that's yellow circle. To say that's an ignorant, that... ignorant statement. That's that's a restaurant, <laughs> and yes, it's in China, but there are human beings too. That yellow is a person who's in, who is asymptomatic and infected. And all those other red circles are other diners who that one diner passed the virus to. All those other people became infected in a restaurant that had air conditioning, and they believe it was the air conditioning which helped the virus and, spread and to all those other people. you remember the Legionnaire's disease in 1976 in Philadelphia came all through the air conditioning. Okay. Um, I just stopped that one midway through. <laughs> because, look, she goes on to discuss typhoid mary and ebola and somehow this has to do with the coronavirus or uh, covid19 and how it uh how it spreads even though they're varied they're completely different viruses again this lady does not know what the hell she's talking about and at the beginning of that does she not understand that viruses spread between people in china the same way it would spread between people in in north america like it's just, it's incredibly weird to act like, oh, because that, that was a, those were Chinese people with that study. Well, it, it doesn't mean it spreads the same. I mean, that's not what she literally said, but why else would she be dismissing that study? Why else would she be dismissing all of the science that shows how COVID-19 spreads and clearly by the amount of people that have been infected by it, it is incredibly easy to get it. It is incredibly contagious including among people that are asymptomatic. Another clip here. Every one of those lives is a tragic loss. But when you count 150 versus 2.3 million, you have to say, okay. we have to open up. We have to right. go back. Our bus drivers, our But hasn't cleaners, it been because of social distancing that the numbers have been what they are? How do you know until we have a control group? We offer to be a control group. Anybody who knows anything about statistics knows that, for instance, you have a vaccine. You're, you're offering you the, the citizens of Las Vegas to be a control group to see if your I theory on social distancing no, works no, no, or doesn't no, work. Wrong. Absolutely wrong. Don't put words in my mouth. You just what said I we'll said be a control I group. Offer, excuse me. What I said was. I offered to be a control group, and I was told by our statistician, you can't do that because people from all parts of Southern Nevada 
come in to work in the city. And I said, oh, that's too bad, because I know when you have a disease, you have a placebo that gets the water and the sugar, and then you get those that actually get the shot. We would love to be that placebo side so you have something to measure against. So all you, the data until You want to get the placebo. You don't want to get the actual... Well, no, not? the group who gets the placebo, by the way, usually gets the short end of the stick. Um, well, you don't know. How do you know when you're Mayor, in part of let that me just group? Say, you are. Mayor, <laughs> Mayor if if you if casinos reopen, are you going to be inside those casinos every single night, putting your own life on the line? I have lived in this town for fifty-six I'm, it's a question. years. Are you going to go to the casinos no, 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 no. every night and put your life on the line, no, like I, all the workers I, you say I've you were there in holding town, their hands? So I. Uh, they don't need it. We weren't broken. We as tragically have 150 people we lost. Tragic. We have 2.3 million people here. I haven't heard and you say have yes that you would be sitting on those casino floors every night along with the people that you say you are holding their hands with. What What is the purpose of that? First of all, I have a family. Because and it would I be putting your money. It would be night. putting what money you where your mouth is. Okay. I mean, if that doesn't expose her, I don't know what does. She will not put her life on the line. She, she will not go into those casinos. Like, look, at the beginning of this interview, you could say, oh, maybe she's just really dumb, <laughs> just totally ignorant. But by the end of it, if she is not willing to say that she would go into these casinos herself, then clearly she understands the implications of putting people back to work. And she doesn't care if a percentage of them get the coronavirus and die. She doesn't care at all. And that other part of the conversation where she's discussing how it would be great uh, for us to be the uh, control group. It'd be great for us to be the, the, the control group. And then Anderson Cooper says her words back to her. And the mayor is just completely oblivious, acting like I didn't say that when she literally just said the exact same thing. I don't, I feel bad for her family. I mean, imagine this lady, imagine you had to deal with this lady on a daily basis. Imagine you work for her. I got, I got nothing else to say here. Um, I think it's just pretty obvious on its face when watching these clips that this is somebody that should not under any circumstances be running a city.